At the height of the Cold War, the world saw two countries battle it out in almost every sector, but space, was the ultimate show to display one's technological prowess over the other. The Soviet Union and the United States went head-to-head, -head, with the former putting the first artificial satellite into Earth's orbit, and the latter replying, by putting first man on the moon. But after the dissolution of the Soviet, the United States marched way ahead into the space frontier. Today, it has the biggest space exploration body in the world, with an annual budget of $32 billion. No other space organization comes even remotely close to that of the country's National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA. But there is one player who is changing the game, or more like the rules of the game when it comes to space exploration. That player, is China. And it is catching up to the United States very fast, and in some cases, going past it. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. For a country that was nowhere close in the space race, China sure has come far ahead. Only half a century ago it put its first satellite into orbit, whilst tackling a massive disruption caused due a cultural revolution. That, was in 1970. To put things into perspective, in 1970, NASA was already halfway through its work on the Voyager spacecrafts which would be launched in the next seven years. But things have drastically changed since then. Today, China has launched more than 200 rockets in the past 10 years alone, sent an unmanned mission to the moon, and have their own space station after being kicked out from the International Space Station. China's state media Xinhua claims that at least 300,000 people have worked on China's space projects, almost 18 times the number of employees NASA has. Yes, the space race between the United States and China is set for a new and exciting turn, as the latter is geared to challenge the James Webb Space Telescope with its fleet of tiny satellites, as they dive into deep space. China's scientists are creating a fleet of small satellites to monitor the highly energetic and short-lived violent occurrences of deep space, and the Chinese mission has envisioned more than 100 microsatellites, each outfitted with a smaller and lighter version of a typical X-ray telescope. The technique contrasts sharply with the current trend of ever-larger telescopes that can look deeper into space and time. They are calling it the catch, chasing all transients constellation hunters, and it will be a constellation of hundreds of satellites. While all of this is fascinating, China really outdid themselves, this time by beating Elon Musk's SpaceX. The Zhukai 2 rocket, developed by Chinese company Land Space, successfully soared to orbit after launching from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. U.S. Space Force tracking confirmed Chinese reports that the methane-fueled rocket made it to orbit. It was a milestone effort for Zhukai 2, which suffered an anomaly during its debut flight on December 14, 2022. Methane, aside from burning with a pretty blue color during launch, has been billed by advocates as being more environmentally friendly. While methane is a greenhouse gas, it is cleaner than the standard RP-1, or kerosene, used in many rockets. Many US companies are working on methane-fueled rockets as well, including SpaceX with its Starship system, Blue Origin with New Glenn, Rocket Lab with Neutron, United Launch Alliance with Vulcan Centaur and Relativity Space with its Terran line. Some of these vehicles have suffered issues in recent months, however. Terran 1 failed to reach orbit on its debut launch in March, for example, and SpaceX issued a self-destruct command to Starship during its first fully stacked launch in April after the vehicle suffered several anomalies. SpaceX is developing Starship to help settle Mars, and methane fuel can be sourced on the Red Planet, company founder and CEO Elon Musk, has stressed. Vulcan Centaur was supposed to fly for the first time in early May, but that liftoff has been delayed after an anomaly occurred during testing of the rocket's upper stage. China and its private space companies have been on a tear in terms of launches, taking 54 missions to orbit in 2022 and targeting more than 60 in 2023. By comparison, SpaceX, by far the busiest US launcher, launched 61 rockets to space in 2022. While the global space community remains enthralled by these developments, it's important to acknowledge China's significant contributions in the realm of exploration. The space race is getting exciting. 
While China takes giant leaps in the field, the US is way ahead in the game for now. Recently, scientists have developed an insane technology that will blow your mind, and probably the minds of aliens settled on exoplanets or their moons. Just kidding. What scientists have developed, is a laser technology that could detect life on other planets. This amazing new technology could detect extraterrestrial life in outer space, speeding up decades-long quest, to find life on faraway moons and planets. The NASA-backed research conducted at the University of Maryland, shows that the laser technology could potentially identify signs of life and analyze materials from other planets. Geologists have hailed this technology, saying that the good thing about the laser source is that anything that can be ionized, can be analyzed. Meaning, if we shoot the laser beam at an ice sample, scientists would be able to characterize the composition of the ice, and see biosignatures in it. And not just that. This tool has such a high mass resolution and accuracy, that any molecular or chemical structures in a sample, become much more identifiable. But for the technology to work successfully on board a spacecraft, it had to be shrunken down from 400 pounds, to just 17 pounds. Because the orbit wrap was originally built for commercial use, they were quite large, and hence not feasible for use in space. After spending eight years on building the prototype, which is significantly smaller and less resource intensive, but still capable of cutting edge science, the hope is that this system will detect and confirm alien life, as indicated by complex compounds. Previously, scientists have used different methods to identify life elsewhere in our galaxy, such as looking for traces of methane or detecting radio energy. Also, with the James Webb Telescope scanning alien worlds using spectroscopy has yielded phenomenal results. We can now find out a planet's exact chemical composition as Webb's instruments have opened the universe to us like never before. This is great time for science. This is where humanity peaks. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore. Also, please join our channel and become a member to enjoy some amazing perks, and that way, also support us so that we can continue to make more such videos for you. Until next time.